Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you the experience we had yesterday at Bister Village. My partner took me and the girls to Bister Village to celebrate mine and Molly's birthday. I had the best experience of my life again, once again very similar to the experience I had in Prada which I recorded and uh, you can watch it in uh, one of my previous video and see what I bought from Prada that was an amazing day same as yesterday I've never bought anything from Gucci before I never owned anything from Gucci before this is the very first time I enter a Gucci shop and I even buy something so for me it was uh, something to remember and not only to show you but for myself because in the future one day or maybe when I will be older I would love to watch again and remember the emotions and the happiness sadly I didn't record anything yesterday I was extremely tired uh, we didn't expect the amount of people the crowd that was there in Bister village it was difficult to walk around but at least today i can show you what i have bought from uh, Bister village yesterday we went to the white company shop let's open this beautiful ribbon satin bow and inside there is this delicate package so as soon as I entered the shop I've seen this and because I was looking on Amazon to buy a similar one and I know it was a bit more expensive than the one in the white company when I saw it I bought it straight away so I'm very pleased with this one it's a very useful purchase Okay, is this beautiful glass vase. I hope you can see. It's um, similar, has a shape to a fishbowl uh, tank. It's not as round, it's a bit more higher. It has got a ribbed effect, uh, light ribbed effect uh, with this vertical line. I think it's very, very elegant. It's, uh, it's beautiful. They had this size and they had a bigger size. So this one, the original price and the prices I have seen for this kind of vase, on Amazon is between 25 and 30 pounds, even 34, even more pounds. And in the white company, it was this one, this size was at 16 pounds, 16 pounds, reduced to 16 pounds. And they had the bigger vase, much bigger, it was 20, 24. But I want to put flowers in here and I think for the um, bunch of flowers I'm going to buy regularly this size is going to be perfect so this is uh, something I'm going to put to use very very soon and then um, from the brand Furla even in my last video if you have seen my other video when I went to Bister Village you may think, Sylvia, we've seen these same shops over and over in your previous video. I know, I always go in the same shops because I love, I love the brand. Furla is an Italian brand and uh, in the last video I bought um, a card holder from Furla to use with uh, my Prada bag. So it's a blue, like the blue Prada bag that I have. This one instead is very well in this very nice and soft uh, dust bag wrapped and this is another bag because a lady never have enough bags this is a beautiful tan leather bag as you can see this shape i really like this shape the size um let me um wrap here
we have scattered molly. I like the fact that it has got this tan color. I really wanted um, a tan color bag that goes um, with many, many colors. And also I really like the gold hardware. This has got golden hardware everywhere, a golden zip. It has got this strap, which is a short strap that you can put it on your shoulders, around your shoulder. I like to wear a bag this way so you don't really see the logo. I think it's more discreet, more elegant. Or I can just have it on my hand. I think this is very practical. But what I like even more is that it has another longer strap, which is this one. And this is the strap to have across body. I like this uh, leather in this shape because it is... Um, rectangular in this direction so when you open up your zip now there is a lot of uh, paper inside i'm going to recycle this paper and uh, maybe i'm going to use to wrap presents at christmas so this is um, what it looks like um, i would uh, mainly uh, carry like that I think I will make the strap shorter, but I need to make a few holes to have it a bit shorter. Inside there is this big compartment. There is a lot of space inside, it is very, very spacious. It is this um, beige, uh, greyish lining um, has got two small pockets uh, here and then on this side uh, he has got a zipped compartment as you can see a bit bigger and you can zip it up and then a big main compartment inside i like the practicality of this uh, style uh, this type of bag so i have been looking for something like this for quite a long time and um, i'm so pleased with this purchase i know i will use it very very much um, so yes this is beautiful. and then from la cose last time i bought a, a little saucepan this time from la cose I have bought a bit bigger pot because uh, cooking with uh, La Cruze pot is so much better than uh, cooking with any other pot and pan. And so this is a bigger pot because when I cook for uh, the girls, uh, I always cook for them. I cook fresh, fresh food every other day, but they eat a lot, two of them, and I may cook a bit more for me and my partner because we eat the same thing. It's mainly rice and plant-based meat, which is lovely. And so, no surprise, I have this cream, same, similar color to the other pots I bought previously. I really, really like the cream color because it goes really well with the black agar that we have. Is uh, It looks really nice. We have a white kitchen, so I think it goes really nice. I love this uh, metal uh, uh, knob that there is on the lid. All white inside as well. Mm, it's not white, it's cream. And it's uh, four liters, four liters point two. Um, the one I have at the moment is three liters and is really on the edge every time I cook. So, and, and then uh, things can burn. I notice that when I cook in these cast iron pots, uh, never gets burned, never. Like, even if you forget something, it never sticks. Uh, it's very easy to clean. Uh, and I'm sure that if you have used uh, cast iron, the only downside is that they're really heavy, but otherwise they cook much better, quicker, and, um, and they're easy to clean and they don't burn. This stuff doesn't burn. So I could, I could only have uh, or cook in uh, cast iron pots uh, because um, <laughs> to me is the best way of cooking. And now the best purchase.
Now, entering the Gucci shop, um, it was something I wasn't sure it was going to happen yesterday because um, there was a virtual queue. Basically, you had to scan with your phone a barcode uh, and then uh, that would put you on the list. Uh, and it was a very, very long list. Um, actually, at the beginning, when we passed in front of Gucci the first time, the list was closed. There were too many people inside the shop. It was so busy. So there was nothing to, to scan. So I thought, oh, okay, shame. We came here, but I really wanted to go into Gucci. But yeah, maybe we won't have the opportunity to. And then we passed the second time later on in the afternoon. And actually the virtual queue was open so I scanned the code and I was something like 80 in a queue so I have to wait 80 people before me okay I thought well in the meantime I went into Furla and I purchased that bag and then when I was there purchasing the Furla bag I was about to pay at the till and I got the text message you are next and we keep your place uh, your space for 10 minutes I thought oh my god I have to rush I have the opportunity to go into Gucci and I was so excited and my heart was beating I know it's silly I know it's just a shop but I've never been there uh, before and um, yeah I think it's a nice experience to do and if you have the opportunity I I would recommend doing it it's, it's really lovely and I went in and um, I was looking around I was a bit um, lost because I I didn't know how the shop was going I didn't know if um, that was it what I would see on the side of there was more um, so at the beginning I was starting to look so the, here are some bags here are some more bags where are the clothes uh, oh there are the shoes so I tried to understand how the, the shop was working and uh, a guy approached me all dressed in, in black and I thought he was the security guy and he said may I help you and um, I was a bit hesitant because I thought it was a security guy and um, but then I thought yeah I was looking for a bag which was something I have wanted for a very very long time a Gucci bag who never dreamed of having a Gucci bag so I show him which one I wanted he was a very very nice guy very nice and he ended up showing it to me and um, and yes I have this beautiful it feels like silk but um, yeah it's not silk but it's a beautiful very soft dust bag is in a cream color with this big uh, brand logo stitched on at the front has got a black ribbon to tie the dust bag and when you open this is the, my very first maybe the first of others but this is the first Gucci bag I have bought what do you think I really really like it it's a crossbody is um, a medium size I would say maybe small medium size let's take off I'm so excited I wanted to wear it straight away obviously I suppose everyone would have felt the same I wanted to unbox it but I wanted to unbox it in front of the camera to remember in the future it doesn't have a buckle this strap it has got a little stud so let me see how it works Oh gosh, this is so pretty, so pretty. So this is textile and this the trim all around the bottom and the top and the shoulder strap is leather, is tan leather, has got a little decoration with the Gucci logo. And now we open what it looks like inside. So it has got this golden hardware which I really like. I'm very happy to have golden hardware. I'm going to reuse uh, the paper for my Christmas present. It's nice white paper. 
I can also use it to line my drawers. Ooh, it's um, canvas material inside. Oh, I'm going to show you a bit better. I, I quickly had a look um, there when I was in Gucci and the, the gentleman who was serving me, he was showing to me the bag. But obviously now I can uh, see it's a very light beige. Here it has got leather space for the cards all here and then on this side instead has got a um, larger pocket i really love this canvas material feels like linen very much like linen has got a weave a, a pretty large pretty large weave i'm so happy um, obviously over the moon because it's not something you would uh, buy every day. I usually don't like when uh, you see the, the logo all over the bag but in this case uh, because I think it's a classic it's a piece that it will always uh, be on fashion it will always be an elegant bag it will last me many many years to come so the gentleman who showed me this bag was really really mm, nice very polite very um he was happy to show me um everything i wanted to see it, it made me feel at ease straight away it was a very beautiful experience uh, i don't know if it was lucky uh, or every sale assistant in Gucci is um, that nice, that polite. Anyway, um, after I've seen uh, this bag, he was also showing me some boots because I was looking for some boots, but they didn't have my size. Um, I couldn't find what I wanted in the shoes. And then I had a look behind me. There, was, there were some clothes and there was... Um, an item of clothing that was a dream a dream like to me getting dressed and some clothes are an expression of art some clothes are really art pieces and when i saw this item i could not resist I could not resist, so I have to show you what I bought next. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. As I said to my partner, this is a piece of artwork. Don't think of it as a item of clothing, but this is artwork. It's a beautiful Gucci coat. I'm gonna wear it and I show it to you a bit better. Okay, my friends, look at this beautiful hanger. It's a velvet hanger and has got Gucci written engraved in here. Take a moment to admire how beautiful. I really love the inside lining. It's a very beautiful. Um, satin material has got this uh, flower decoration I hope you can see them well it's got this Gucci the logo made in Italy okay has got this beautiful uh, velvet uh, collar it's double breasted so it has got this uh, dark blue or navy blue rim on the top part three quarter sleeve is a very thick wool it feels very very warm i love the three quarter sleeves um, obviously in winter i would wear it with another jumper underneath now i'm wearing only a t-shirt has got pockets i love this uh, bib and uh, the puff shoulders and I like the fact that it cinches at the waist, it goes in and then it goes out at the skirt, it's that um, wider. It gives a beautiful hourglass shape. So I looked at this dress and I fell in love, I went there so to see, to look at it. I didn't think of buying it but I was dreaming of just trying it on. And then I have looked at the back. And that's the best part of this dress. Look at this. 
how pretty how pretty is this back with the bow? Remind me of um, those sailor uh, uniform that you can see in the um, Japanese mangas. It's something like that. Anyway, the shop assistant who was helping me choosing, um, his name uh, is uh, Michele. He was so nice, he was um, not pushing at all. He showed me several um, items uh, of clothing uh, in Gucci. He showed me beautiful pieces that would have really, really suited me. He had the patience to wait for me, taking the time to think about it and everything. And um, yeah, I really recommend if you go to the Gucci store in Bista Village, uh, ask for Michele you couldn't have a better shop assistant to help you in your experience there in Gucci. I'm very pleased with this purchase. This coat, I was exactly thinking of wearing it with these jeans, with the denim like that, skinny jeans, and maybe some boots, and then I would wear it with my blue Prada bag. That's how I would wear it, or I can see myself uh, wearing it and um, styling it. And uh, next time I will go there, I make sure I will ask for Michele. And I hope I will be able to purchase a few more things from Gucci because it's so beautiful, it's so elegant, and um, they are pieces that will stay in the wardrobe forever. I can't imagine uh, of um, anyone not liking this coat, but I know everyone's taste is different, so uh, thank God we are all different and we have different tastes. It's so pretty, it's so pretty this coat. I don't wanna take it off. I hope you enjoyed uh, um, hearing about my experience in Gucci yesterday at Bister Village here in the UK. I hope you, you liked and uh, please give me a big thumb up, it does help my channel a lot and subscribe if you are new and you want to see more from me and the girls and the house, how the renovation is going on. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you all for watching. Love you all, sending you a big, big virtual hug to every one of you. Bye, bye, bye.